What's up everybody? Jim Resonated Lee here from climateviewer.com with a an explosive update. <laughs> Hold on to your pants. Today we're going to talk about nuclear explosions. Now, a lot of us were taught in school that there were two nuclear explosions. They happened at Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II, ended that abruptly. And uh that's just not the case. Um, there were 2,053 explosions across the world during the Cold War. Um, seems like they were in a fireworks contest uh, when you look at the map. Now, this is from a guy uh, from the Google Earth forums. What I did was I, I took his file and I added these little icons to kind of dress it up, give it flair, and... Uh, reformatted all the information in them so big credit to him for that and uh, this is Nevada and you gotta see this I mean these are the holes in the ground all right they're still there and these are upper air explosions and then you even have underground explosions this is a little map that was also provided by the aforementioned fellow from the Google Earth forums. Or, um, check that out. I mean, it's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. This blew my mind when I first saw it. Especially, you know, the one up here in the air. I'm sure everybody enjoyed breathing that. That was in uh, 1955. Teapot. Good. Airdrop parachute retarded. So they dropped it with a parachute and blew it up right over America. Um, additionally, here's some more that they did in America, and of particular interest to uh, Salt Dome followers is Cowboy Plowboy Carry Salt Mine, and then two over here in a uh, Whetstone Salmon Tatum Salt Dome. So, they love the salt domes good stuff. They like to store nuclear waste and uh, fracking material in there and uh, all kinds of other things but let's continue on. These red dots I just put up there are uh, coal ash ponds. Very disgusting stuff. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Now if you check out this map what we have the red ones these red icons are storage facilities that is an incomplete file. I've still got a long way to go on it. If you guys want to help me out with that, submit your location, submit location uh, URLs to websites where a lot of this information can be stored. So anything you can help out, um, I'd appreciate. So 2,364 nuclear weapons at uh, Bangor, Washington, Air Force bases, places that uh, dismantle them, um, Hanford Nuclear Site. Uh, original uh, very first nuclear reactor in America uh, or in the world was built here um, as long as well as many other things of particular interest here, let me find it real quick you go to electromagnetic and just turn that on check the down arrow to expand it then check the box to show it and you'll see that right here is the Hanford uh, nuclear LIGO which is a laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory. You guys may be wondering what that is. What that's and uh, also you can check the Wikimapia button here and it'll overlay all kinds of great info from the amazing website Wikimapia. And you just click these and they'll click you over to it. Um anyway, amazing stuff going on here. This LIGO coincidentally is here because gravitational hill is like right over here somewhere somewhere in this area is a uh, what's called gravity hill where cars actually roll uphill very cool um, but anyway I did a video on uh, this Hanford nuclear as well and you'll see here over 1 million gallons of nuclear waste has leaked out of 67 single well tanks into the river which is right there but anyway I digress let me turn this electromagnetic. Um, it, all of my, my hard work is in the locations file. Check these three um, boxes. You got Big Brother, 
you got nuclear and you got electromagnetic in there. Just amazing stuff. Um, that took me a year and a half to put together, by the way. Anyway, um, the yellow ones are nuclear power plants. You can double click them and they'll fly you in, let you look at them. Pretty cool. Mmm, I want to breathe that. And then when you uh, want to zoom all the way back out, click the little camera icon up here and you'll fly back out. And then you can see worldwide, that is a lot of nuclear explosions. A lot. Including the Russians, they got a grip over here. Well, trying to find, there you go, there's a pile. And I believe there's a bunch right here. Yeah. Um, so, just an overwhelming amount of nuclear explosions. That is your cause for cancer, people. And additionally, now most people will talk about Fukushima and uh, how bad the radiation in the water is. And I'll tell you that this isn't all of it. All right, guys? Now, this is, uh, this is on uh, March is the last this was modeled, but that's how big they assumed the cesium spread in the water was. And that's from one nuclear power plant, all right? This just happened. Russian nuclear graveyard found with 17,000 containers of radioactive waste, 19 ships containing radioactive waste, 14 nuclear reactors, including five that still contain spent nuclear fuel, 735 other pieces of radioactively contaminated heavy machinery, and the K-27 nuclear submarine with its two reactors loaded with fuel. <laughs> Yummy. All right, so, and there's the link for that. Great day. That really just, you know, sent a shiver up my spine. Um, crazy stuff. So while I was researching that, like I said, the, the nuclear waste and storage is going to grow exponentially. I'm going to be adding many more locations, such as, I found this. This is archive.org for websites, that, uh, web pages that have been deleted from the internet. Uh, this originally appeared at american.edu slash ted slash japan C. It has now been deleted. Thank you, archive.org. The former Soviet Union and now Russia have reportedly dumped radioactive waste on the sea in the Sea of Japan since 1950s. Um, at, when I was going through this, you see here it says case number 255. There are many of these pages and I've been going through and saving them as quickly as possible. So I'm going to put all these together and then put them all in the, on the map eventually. But there is some amazing blow your mind stuff in here including uh, agreements between America and Africa to dump our nuclear and other hazardous waste in their homelands and just I mean heartbreaking stuff but it'll get on the map eventually um, so that's the nuclear uh, stuff there there's a lot there to look at um, you know and of course you know check out the Fukushima section but um, you, there's also a tsunami tracker it will show you the floating debris and this is the estimate at in March. Yowza. So um, the other story that everybody's been asking about is the Bayou Corn thing. So let's let's touch on that real fast, and then I'm gonna wrap this up. Now the black ones are oil wells, and you can highlight the info right here, and it's kind of a pain. And I'm going to come up with a better converter in the future, but I had to convert it all to text. So just highlight that, right-click it, and go, go to that URL. It'll kick you over to their DNR, and you can look at the PDFs on, you know, for the well's history, uh, when they got permits, their inspection records, that sort of thing. Um, I also put in water wells. So you can see where all the water wells are in the area. And you may be wondering why I'm doing such a big area. Uh, there the paper that's referenced here salt a world of history um, they said that it turned out that you know up to four miles away uh, somebody could be the culprit so it doesn't have to necessarily be the well right by the hole so uh, 
get digging. You, may, you never know what you'll find. And then the last thing I want to touch on is the New Madrid. A lot of people are talking about, you know, this and the New Madrid. And I, I found something kind of creepy, and I just want to point it out. This is the recent earthquakes, according to the USGS. Now, if you'll see right here, they've got one up there, and they should have everything from the past week. Now, you come over here to external links, and you click Earthscope US Array. Now, this is the, the Earth Earthscope. I'm going to bring it up over here while we're watching this. And you'll see that there are many more earthquakes than are showing on that map. And these are all from the last day or two. You know, the third, the third, the sixth, the sixth. I mean, those aren't on there? Come on, they're two days ago. Why aren't they on that map? Um, but yeah, that's kind of concerning for me. And then over here you got um, these as well, right up on the surface, nice. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know, not, not making any assumptions. Maybe this is normal, but look into it if you're interested in the New Madrid and the earthquakes and uh, plenty of links here in the external link section. The nuclear section, the external links, has uh, radiation monitoring. I have no, uh, no scripts, so I'm just making sure that everything's going to run. Pretty cool. And I believe this is live. So check that out. Lots of stuff in here. Um, check the external links. You know, there's some videos in here. I have a whole video playlist on nuclear energy. I'm going to add way more to this. I just added all these external links into the map. Get involved. Uh, oh, Earthscope. Here you go. It's now loaded. This is a very large file, so I clicked it earlier. So we go ahead and load. This is uh, where that, that data is coming from. And as you can see, it's a traveling, roaming uh, seismograph, seismic station uh, array. And uh, it's got multiple purposes, but, you know, it also tracks earthquakes. So um, enjoy that, guys, and um, get involved in the project. You know, I could use some help here. And uh, if you have a story that is uh, climate pollution related, weather modification, anything like that, um, earth changes, uh, disasters, give it to me. Um, I'd love to put it in there. And uh, all you got to do is right, uh, hold your control key and click on the map. And it'll put a little dot on there with the road info and everything. And you can hold your alt key and edit it. Type my concerns or whatever you want to put and then put some information in. You can even put URLs to links to news. And then come up here and hit save and hit OK. And hit save. And then you can email me this file and then I'll know exactly what you're talking about. And I'll just add it to Google Earth and put it up here in this little tree. And there you have it. And if that's a little too complicated for you, um, feel free to jump up here in the forum and just log into that bad boy and post your news. We've already had a couple people posting. I really appreciate it, guys. The more the merrier. Um, let's build a, a map of uh, all the bad places so we can get to cleaning it up. I appreciate it, guys, and uh, I hope to hear from you soon. And uh, I'll be updating you as soon as I can. This instructional video at the top, I will be updating that in like the next day or two. So you guys stay safe out there, and uh, I appreciate you watching this video.